Hi, my name is Glenn Innes. I'm the chair of the Mission Initiative Group at the Baptist Union and I'm the pastor of Portobello Baptist Church in Edinburgh. I was asked to do a small piece for Connect, thinking about what mission lo might look like in 2021. And I'm sure you're very aware that the idea of making any predictions uh, at the moment is a fool's errand, and I'm not going to do that. But I do want to reflect just very quickly with you on something I read, I think back in May of last year, from an American context, but I think it's true here, where someone was making the case that they thought that every church leader was now a church planter. And at the time, I thought it was probably a bit of an extreme position and maybe not entirely helpful. However, I think they were onto something. And I just want to share three reasons I think that might be the case and it might be a helpful way for us to begin to think as we think about mission in Scotland in 2021. The first is that the organising principle, the, the thing that drives everything in a church plant and in a church planter is mission. That it becomes the reason for, for everything that's done. It becomes the the filter through which every decision is made. And I think for us that's going to be really critical. We all know that hopefully as things get better uh, with the pandemic, with co coronavirus, that as we return to some form of normality, there are people with deep grief, there are people with distrust, there's people with whose lives have been turned upside down. And the gospel is really the answer. And so we need to be prepared and we need to be ready and we need to be organised uh, to be a missional people in this land. And so mission becomes the organising principle, like for a church plan. The second thing is that we must be local. Church plants are in a specific place to a specific people. And it's one of the things that church plants often get right, is that they understand the community that they're in. Now, it's been an unbelievable joy of mine to see throughout 2020 how churches have responded to the needs in their local communities and are making a profound difference. So I'm telling you something you already know here, that actually our local communities matter, understanding the needs in our local communities and meeting them. There's no national strategy for that, but there is a sense of encouraging one another to understand our local context, the, the needs in our local spaces, and to use those as ways that the church can be present and express the gospel, often in very practical ways. Mm. The third thing that comes to my mind as we try to be God's people in Scotland this year is that we need to be innovative. Now, we've all done unbelievable innovation in 2020. We've become adept at online church. We've figured out how to use Zoom. We know how to run uh, discipleship online. We've done Bible studies online. We've run church online. And that level of innovation, I think, needs to continue uh, and be at the very heart of how we think about what it's going to look like to engage the world in 2021 and beyond, to take risks like church plants have to do. Those are different ways of thinking. And for some of us, the innovation will be internally, how we organise our church, the ways that we do things. But for others, it's going to be leaning into some of the stuff Brian Sanders talked to us about at Canopy, about microchurches. And I just want to say that the Mission Initiative Group and the national team are deeply committed to supporting you in your journeys with that. And so there are a number of programmes and uh, opportunities for you to get help and support as you journey in this space. So those three things, uh, mission as the organising principle, local as the way to understanding our communities, and thirdly, innovation as the very heart of what we do. I hope in this year that you see much fruit for your labour in the kingdom of God.